I have in front of me a Megasat wireless HD TV sender. It's basically sending a HDMI signal up to 100 meters. Um, it's uh, available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie. Um, so it has two functionalities, send picture, and also it's going to allow us to change channels from the remote location, okay? So um, these particular units used to be massively expensive. Now they probably dropped it by about 75 to 80% in price. Uh, we went with Megasat because it's probably one of the largest um, sales um, manufacturers of these units in Germany, okay? So it's a really premium product to that extent. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do um, tree setups. I'm going to have a set-top box here, a satellite, which we have in the original setup, and I'm going to show it directly onto the television. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wirelessly send the signal from the set-top box to the television, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change channels uh, from the television back to the set-top box. So there's three steps to it. So when we get it, this is the outer box that come in. Uh, we effectively give the adapters to give, give you a three pin plugs on these units here ourselves, okay? And what we're, we have is we have a sender unit and a receiver unit, okay? The sender unit will say sender and the other one will say something in German, I don't know quite what it says, but it's the opposite, okay? Um, so uh, what we have here then is we have our uh, power units for it and our IR sensors and on the far end we have exactly the same mirror image, okay? With a user manual that's um, partly in English, partly in German, okay? Just the duplicates of each other basically. So, um, so we, we have this set EWTN, just it's a non-copyrighted channel, so it's just been broadcast away. So that's, that's absolutely super. So what we want to do here is we want to come along and we want to send the signal. So with the first step, because we're only trying to send the signal from A to B, now this is support up to 1080p, won't support 4K, but it'll support 720 and also 1080p, okay? So the, your standard high definition channels. So, it's a, it's a lot of oxymoron, but anyway, um, Right, the power units are in completely reversible here, but I'm just going to come along and I'm going to plug these ones in and I'm going to power up the first unit. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a HDMI lead locally here. I'm going to disconnect the HDMI lead that was coming, going directly to the television. So you see we have no picture now. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take this HDMI output from our set-top box. And we'll see here we have a HDMI thing here. So the reason we have two HDMIs on this is this is basically a loop out. So it's saying you might want to send a picture to a second television and you're probably going to want to connect it to your local television as well. So start, rather than having to use a HDMI split or something like that, you can run it in here to convert it to a wireless signal, but also you can run the HDMI back out and just run it to your local television, which obviously most people do. And that's a lovely piece of the design and one of the reasons I like this particular product. So now all of a sudden we have this one working. And now we have to get ready in the position to be able to, be able to receive the signal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come along, connect this in. Now, obviously in the normal state of affairs, these would be about 100 meters apart, but um, this won't uh, affect us overly. And I'm going to come along here. I'm going to push this in. By the way, the panels that are on the back of this weren't connected originally. I just have to come along and screw these in, okay? Um, so that's just the, the same receive, and normally we just point them towards each other as much as we can. But anyway, you can see they're close to each other and all the rest of it. And all of a sudden, bang, the picture's back working. So this is really cool in terms of now we have full 1080p picture on this side being sent wireless between the two locations, and we know it will work up to 100 meters apart. So that's the second part of the demonstration finished with. And the third part is we want to come along here and we just want to use our IR sensor things here. So um, we have an IR in and an IR out, okay? So this is a little bit counterintuitive here because the IR out is going to be the opposite way around because remember the picture is going from the set-top box over to the receiver to the television but of course the control signal is coming from the television all the way back to the receiver because it's on the second television that you want to be able to grab your remote controls and change channels. So what we'll do with this thing is we just simply peel back the plastic and we want to position it in front of the box exactly so it'll be lined up with the IR sensor end. There's a 3M sticker here, we just peel it off, stick it onto the position here, and it'll work quite well. And we do exactly the same on the far side here, except in this one here, what we'll be doing. So one of these is marked the IR in uh, uh, or out, as in that side, and this is the IR in. Now I have a feeling that these are probably reversible, but I didn't test this, but they look identical in terms of the design. So sometimes I've found that these senders in the past that it is and it's reversible, but that, that's just basically it. Now, when we originally came to do the testing on this, we couldn't get this to work. And the reason we couldn't is that, 
And the speaker set that box, there's a fantastic IR sensor on it. So what was actually happening is, I was sending a signal through the sensor, but it was also, even though I was aiming nowhere towards the box, it was picking it up as well, enhancing it. So what I had to do in the end was actually come along and just hide it completely out of the way underneath the television, something like that. And what we're able to do then is just change channels over and back, okay? So I just want to change that program as quick as I can. Or what I'll do here is I'll actually just turn off that set that box because I don't think I'm into any popular things that's going to give me hassle here. So um, that's basically it. So this is allowing us to change in the far end. So this is really cool. There's an analog way of doing this. It's still much cheaper to do with analog than it is digitally. It used to be roughly 10 times more expensive to do it in an analog um, standard definition um, as opposed to an analog standard definition um, uh, to do with HD. Now it's roughly 75 to 100% more expensive. So the price of the difference is coming there and all of a sudden people are going to count it quite worthwhile because it's really handy. It's really handy. We've been asked for this particular product for a hundred times, I would say. And if you say to guys it's going to be 500 euros, they're probably put off quite strongly on it. If you say it's going to be about a quarter of that or less, uh, guys find it quite attractive, okay? So that's basically where we are now. So that's it anyway, an overview of the um, of the Megasat wireless HD TV sender um, available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie.